From there, we move on to opera singer Abiodun Koya, who believes that classical music can become trendy with the right elements. The singer is planning to introduce contemporary ideas into a brand of entertainment. Let's get more on that now. With the increasing global attention Nigeria is attracting for the success of Afrobeats and the resultant demand from entertainment lovers for the genre, leading prima donna Abiodun Koya takes on the challenge of promoting classical music as a worthy alternative to pop. Having recorded success for her debut concert tagged Frankincense last Christmas, Koya says there's potential for more Nigerians to embrace classical entertainment as there is increasing demand. With that in mind, she takes the train to the FCT Abuja with a sci-fi themed concert. It was such a huge, 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 huge hit and people are already asking me if I'm going to have it uh, this year and of course, you know, we're looking forward to it. Uh, but the, the, the response um, has been very positive, has been very encouraging and rapid. And um, there's a huge growth in the interest of Nigerians for classical music. And so that is very, very encouraging. Um, I, I think I should, you know, work harder and, uh, you know, call on patrons who are able to sponsor musical events, you know, in the classical field to really consider doing that more. After the Frankincense concert, um, I realized that the response was so huge, you know, even because we had series and episodes from the concert on national TV that aired and people loved it. It was a treat to people. And so I had a meeting with my management and I said, you know, Frankincense, I, I mean, it was just really incomparable, really amazing, well done. And, um, and then we decided that, you know, we should probably consider having uh, two concerts a year in Nigeria, two classical concerts in Nigeria, um, partly to be able to meet people's demands, you know, for such shows and also to be able to propagate the genre in Nigeria. Her plan is to find new and unconventional ways to draw attention to classical music, which is widely considered elitist. It's a sci-fi opera, musical opera, that, you know, that merges uh, science fiction with classical music. You know, think of um, Star Wars meeting classical music. So, so the idea is to have uh, the ensemble, every participant on stage to be costumed. You know, the stage is going to be like a spaceship. And you know what I'm saying? Even the compare will be costumed. And then the kind of music that, you know, will be rendered, of course, classical music and um, sort of you know, sci science fiction kind of music. And some songs that are like uh, theme songs from movies as well. You know, Mission Impossible, uh, Now We Are Free from Gladiator, you know, and stuff and stuff. Yeah, you know, stuff you would hear. Um, we, we're going to feature works of uh, modern uh, composers like Vangelis and modern um, um, uh, classical artists like Enya, Andrea Bocelli, Sarah Brightman and stuff. Yes. So, so the whole idea is to take um, classical uh, musical presentation to another level. It's not just going to be stage, okay, um, stand here, here's your stand, your musical stand, you fold your hands and you sing. No, it's about the experience. Koya will also buy into the cross-pollination of music genres as seen in mainstream music 
by working with some pop artists. Young music lovers are often enticed by the show of wealth and good fortune in contemporary musical videos. However, Koya believes classical music offers much more. Future Symphony is a, is, is a program designed for youths as well to attract youths to get into classical music, you know, because that, you know, the kind of music you hear in Future Symphony is, of course, you know, hardcore classical, but then, of course, we have some mainstream classical pop uh, music as well that would, you know, give them the best of both worlds. So we want our young ones to listen to classical music because also it promotes mental wellness emotional wellness, psychological wellness, and believe it or not, if you're well in these other areas, you're, you, you know, your prosperity in, in, with your finances is, is not too far-fetched. Drake, Coldplay and U2 are some of those she hopes to work with in her quest to make classical music popular among the youth.